All right, we are all set. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, Pat is in the attendees, so I'm going to promote her to panelists. Wonderful. So Pat, just accept the invitation. You should be all set. Okay. Um, <clears throat> welcome, Pat. Welcome, everybody. Um, welcome to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of September 25th, 2023. My name is Erica Zikas, and as the chair of the Amherst Design Review Board, I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. The meeting um, is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst's YouTube channel, and minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. A hyperlink to the hearing uh, is posted on the town's online calendar. Board members, I'll take roll call. When you hear your name, let me know you're here. Um, Catherine Porter? Here. Lindsay Schnarr? Here. Pat Auth? Present. Karen Winter has logged in, but st has stepped away for a moment. Um, and I'll let everyone know that uh, Karen is our representative from the planning board. This is days old and Karen has yet to be sworn in so she can participate tonight, but cannot vote. Um, and Erica Zika is present. Uh, board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily and fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question and make a comment. I'll see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remove your phone. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during general public comment period. Public comment should, could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand function button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the chair. If the speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, the participation will be disconnected from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. Uh, first, the applications, DRB FY 2024-04, Deborah Noyes for Botanica Home, number 2024, number five, Raquel Zelandia from Taqueria del Pueblo, and 2024-06, uh, Julia Nolan Jewelry. Uh, item two, approval of meeting minutes. Item three, general public comment period. And I should state that I would like to move general public comment period to before the application. So that actually becomes item one. We'll check in again afterwards in case anybody missed it. Uh, item four, other business. And uh, let's see, we will begin with general public comment period and then move on to um, number four, Botanica Home. Do we have any members of the public present tonight? So we have four members present. I don't see anybody uh, raising their hand in terms of wanting to speak. I see our applicants. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay, great. So doing that, we'll revisit general public comment period after our agenda items. Um, so is there anybody here um, for Botanica Home? Perhaps Ms. Noise? Yep, so Deborah did raise her hand, so I'll go ahead and promote her to panelists so she may present. Great. So Deborah, when you get that invitation, please accept it. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. I didn't think she gets her you're on you're on mute. Unmute. Okay. 
And yeah. a quick question for you. Um, we welcome you sharing your screen to walk us through your proposal, or I could do that on your behalf. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you did it on my behalf. If right. that's easy. easy. Um, I, I have the documents that you submitted to us. Thanks. Okay. So everybody, do you, are we seeing the application document? Okay. And these are the two images that I have. Would you like to walk us through those? Uh, sure. Can you hear me now? Or yeah, so, you sound great. I can see what's on the screen? Okay. Um, yeah. So what we're what we're hoping to do is work with the existing awning frame. Uh, so just take down the fabric and rejig a little bit so it's a, a bit simplified so that we don't have that round uh, design element and just uh, ex hopefully expand it a little bit so I can fit the whole logo. And if not, um, the bird on top of the logo could go to the left and it would be a thinner bar across. Uh, and I do have the uh, Sandrini's, um, you know, the existing uh, dimensions, if anybody needs that information. But it, again, we're not hoping to alter any of the size. Uh, really, it would just be uh, perhaps expanding the height a little bit to allow for the logo. And if not, I would we I would ask my designer to move the bird over to the left. And I see some uh, blue and white paint on the door and window frames. Yeah, we just we just updated the trim because it was very very weathered. Um, Here's the existing again. And then one thing I did. Do you see the Google Street View now? Everyone, did that switch for you? Yeah, I see it. I, I pulled that up just so that you, we can see the the context as well. All right, so I'd like to open the the opportunity for comments to members of the design review board. Comments or questions for Ms. Noyce? Let me know if you want to see a different image as well. Um, Pat. Oh, you're on mute. I obviously reviewed the documents we received, but I've also drove by today just to make sure I had my own visual. And I I just need um, a comment from Ms. Noise. The renderings that you show show the awning coming out quite a distance from the adjacent building. And I I that proportion doesn't look to me like it should be happening. It, uh, the blue marble sign came to the edge of the adjacent building. And have you, uh, I'm not sure whether this is a, an artist rendering or whether you're keeping the proportions in, consistent with the blue marble sign. It's definitely a, a primitive rendering that I, I know I did myself for these purposes. Um, but it's, you know, I, I think that it's exaggerated slightly, you know, the height. Um, and, you know, that's partly my, you know, Photoshop skills. <laughs> but I think it's, uh, you know, the goal would be to um, to keep the the width dimensions. Absolutely. And to maybe extend the height just slightly, if possible, without, you know, changing the framework apart from taking out that oval, that rounded part, um, because it, it, it seems unnecessary for, for, you know, the logo that I have, as opposed to the logo that the blue marble had. Right. So, and I, I, so you will not extend beyond the... the no, it wouldn't go, out, it wouldn't come out any further. If anything, it would go up a little bit more and back a little bit more. Does that make oh. sense? Sure. And I needed to ask that question because the the visual that I'm looking at, um, it just somehow doesn't make the, the sign consistent with the signs that are in the, the adjacent building. So I think the proportions of the blue marble are what I would think would be more compatible. Yes, absolutely. I agree. We we had you know no intention of going out any further. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Lindsay. Go ahead. Hey, sorry. <laughs> um, 
I think the logo is really beautiful and I hope you can keep the bird where it is. I think that the colors are, are really nice and simple. Um, and I, I think that the frame, especially the new paint around the window and door um, work well. I think you could go with just a blue or just a white, but um, I don't mind the combination, especially in the context that Erica showed of the street, given that there is quite a bit of white um, contrast around the doors. Um, my main question was going to be the same um, as what Pat just asked about the extension of that awning, particularly for safety, because I think it would come fairly low um, as people come around the corner. Um, but assuming that it doesn't extend past that corner, I have two questions. One is if um, there will still be the horizontal band that exists on the blue marble sign, um, if that would just be, because if you kept the same framework, there'd be quite a thick kind of horizontal band that they're using or used for their text, for their signage. Um, and that really does push up the plane of the signage, the logo that you have. And I'm concerned about the visibility of your logo at that angle if you're using the same framework. If you're using a framework that, that's more consistent with the rendering where it does slope down further, then I think you could probably, um, then the logo will probably be more visible. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think unless you're really extending it I, and, and changing the framework, I don't think that you're going to get this. Um, you're not. You're going to be able to see it the same way that you're you're seeing it in the rendering um, using the existing framing framework. The other question is similar in that I'm I'm curious if you have any signage that might go on the storefront um, that would also indicate the identity of the of your of your business. Um, especially have, that signage might not be so visible up there. Yeah, I do have a currently have a you know a sign in the window um, that's acting as my my signage, and then I have uh, in ours uh, decal, um, you know a removable one that I've already you know placed in the door, so the hours are, are visible there. Um, they have currently on the left hand side of the blue marble, the wraparound, it says gifts and jewelry. So there's a possibility that if it would be helpful, I could, you know, include some some language like that that breaks out, you know, that indicates that it's a gift store as well as a home store because it is. Um, and, you know, that is a little bit more detailed. It wouldn't be visible from the street. And I could also do that in the windows, except that um, I'm finding that the windows, because I have a vent um, inside the window, that I have to keep my book, uh, my shelf, my shelving somewhat back. Um, so it's a little bit hard to see already. And I'm a bit concerned about putting anything else in the window that would, you know, make it hard to see what's just beyond. Um, so I've been wrestling with that a little bit, but but that's a great idea. Um, to, to have more, you know, more indication of the contents of the store in uh, decal signage or what, what have. So I could certainly try to put something together for that. And I might encourage considering altering the framework. I know that's an expense, but, you know, I think that the, the rendering is really lovely um, with the angle and the, um, simplicity of it I think it's really strong so if it's you know I, I just I I do worry that when we look back at that blue marble sign if you imagine your logo sitting up on the top of that mm -hmm. awning, it's really going to be hard to see I'm not as worried about people understanding the content of your yeah yeah store is more just being able to even read it um at that sight line at that plane yeah, no, I understand. And I was thinking that, you know, removing that uh, circular part would flatten things out and allow for a little, perhaps a little bit more extension of the height 
Um, so it's something that I need to talk to Sandrini Enterprises about. I mean, he hasn't seen the rendering yet because I wanted to make sure that you all were okay. Um, but I'm sure he'll have ideas about how to make it work without extending it any further into the street. I think, um, too, just looking at it from here, it's, you know, I don't know how much, how, you know, how complicated it would be to, to essentially change the slope so that 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 vertical face of long, you know, right. the, um, if it just sloped straight down to the edge versus mm -hmm. having that bend, you might be able to get more visibility of the, you know, of, of the area you're looking at in the, re in the rendering. Yeah, yeah I, would, I, I'm, I am interested in like, if we look at all of the awnings on this facade, we see two things that are consistent. One is that there is that the vertical, band right the fascia on each of the awnings we're reading the the text as a, a vertical not a sloped mm -hmm. surface mm -hmm. and the second is that we see the roof line of the building and I think your proposal has the awning going past that um so there's like there is a kind of a all the, all the colors are different, the styles are different, the fonts are different and all of that, but there is this consistency of seeing the vertical fascia um, and then also seeing the, the roof line. I think your proposal is to change the slope of the awning, but I think that that um, will necessitate changing the frame because something has to hold that fabric up. Um, I think, so, I think altering it slightly, yeah, slightly, but not, you know, not bringing it, not extending it, not bringing it out. So I think, you know, my hope was that we could take out that circular or that sloping part. Yeah. And then, you know, it would be a flat plane and then, you know, rise, you know, raise that flat plane slightly so that there's, but, but the rendering is hard because you can't really see what I'm talking about in the rendering, but it's, I don't see it as a full on slope like that. Think, think, imagine a bend, you know, okay. I think there would be a bend, I think, as in, in keeping with what's there now. But, you know, that that was partly my, as I say, my fairly limited Photoshop skills. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's going to be really valuable to you for the sidewalk visibility. I think from across the street, right, that that Google Street View was kind of the mm -hmm. distant view. But for the, the folks on the sidewalk, having that vertical surface is probably really critical for visibility of yeah. the business. Um, yeah. Um, okay. I see Lindsay again and and Pat as well. That's hand was up first, but I'm, I just have. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I missed the order of operations. <laughs> um, my my thought was just if you did bring that that fascia back or, or retained it, um, and you have flexibility with the graphic, I could imagine keeping Botanica on that vertical fascia mm -hmm. portion. It's moving home over, maybe you have something else that describes the contents of your goods. And then the bird, maybe the bird could fold up the plane of the, you know, basically you're just folding it at the location where the, the top of the A, um, it could be, you know, I, I just a, as a first pass at, you know, a revision that would allow that vertical face to to work with the, the graphic as as much as possible. So moving home to the right and or you know centering things again and then having home and gift or something on the right and the bird remaining on the top. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Essentially, yeah. Just thinking of a way that the botanica could could be on that vertical fascia. Mm -hmm. Or it can kind of sit on the sloped part of the awning. Um so you still read the the um the name of your store on that that front fascia plane mm -hmm. the bird is still going to be you know it's it's going to be harder to see it than we would ideally want but um at least your you know the the name of your business wouldn't be as as hard to see mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah, good thanks Lindsay. thank um, you pat please yes eric i i really am echoing um what you said and had the same thought um, before you said it, um, that if you look at the streetscape, 
all of the business names are um, in, in the same location on each awning. And it's very clear to be able to see what business it is. And then if you go back to the blue marble sign and the framing for that, um, it, it might be possible to, to do the, the name Botanica where the blue marble is and have the bird be where the earth is. Yeah, that was my initial thought was to- Blue marble. The Right, because I think I agree with everybody. I think if you put the name of your business on a sloping awning, it's not going to be visible. It's not going to be consistent with the placement of, of your, you know, the other businesses along the way. And if you look at the streetscape, it's very easy to see the names of the businesses. And although they're different fonts and they're different colors, um, it, it's very visible from the street. And I would want that for you because um, you want your business to be known. And I, I love that the bird is perched on the name, but I think if you if you were to use the same frame, you could have the bird in the where the blue marble is. Mm -hmm. And it, it would it would be as effective with your background blue. The other comment I have is is I, I think Erica referenced this is I I don't like the interruption of the roof line. I think the signs need to be below the, the roof line so there's a consistency in the in the architecture. Mm -hmm. So hope you know we're trying to be helpful because yeah. we want your business to succeed. Um, and I think your logo and your colors are beautiful. But but I think the the, the that needs to show itself to your best advantage as a business person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And um, Karen or Catherine, Catherine, I see your hand. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, it's interesting to see uh, how this whole awning has sort of morphed from what you present here to what you might eventually end up with. Uh, originally, I well, first of all, I love the color, the logo. I like the trim on the doors. Um, I thought it was stunning the awning, the way it was coming out. But it was clear that uh, it just wasn't going to be a fit uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, so I, you know, I'm certainly hearing what everybody is saying to try to be constructive, and I would agree. Uh, again, I don't think you need anything on your window. Uh, you don't have a lot of window space and uh, cluttering it up with uh, lettering or whatever you might think you need to put there doesn't, to my mind, make any sense, but certainly you can put uh, enough on the door. Uh, but uh, kudos for a beautiful color and a uh, logo. Uh, and I think it will look stunning right uh, along with the other streetscape uh, awnings that we have uh, looked at. It's really nice. Uh, Pat, I see your hand again. Is that? Oh, a, I'm sorry. It's still up. It, okay. It's a holdover. I'm so sorry. All right. There we go. Now it's rectified. All right. Fantastic. Um, okay. So I. I think if I could, I'll try to summarize some comments and then I'd ask for, um, ask for someone to make a motion to approve with, uh, a, a, with suggestions or, or perhaps um, we would like to ask uh, Ms. Noyce to come back and we have to talk about that. But I think the suggestions at this point are to if you're if you're working with the existing blue marble frame to maintain that vertical surface at the front, and mm -hmm. then to not extend past the roof line. Um, there's a, a general admiration for your colors and your logo, um, and we recognize that the elements of the logo, the text and the bird, 
um, may need to move around a little bit, but we like all of the pieces and parts. Um, how'd I do? Did I capture everybody's? Okay, so if those are the recommendations, do we think they're substantial enough to ask Ms. Noyce to return to the DRB or could we um, approve with those suggestions? Catherine? Oh, you're muted, Catherine. <laughs> the 21st century <laughs> problem. <laughs> oh, God. yeah, I I was saying to myself that uh, I suggest uh, she return with what she uh, is, feels is her final decision. Um, and I would move that we uh, uh, accept this with uh, the suggestions that we have made about the size and um, the, I think basically about the whole design of the, I'm not making it very clear. What did you say, Erica, that- um, The suggestions about the- Yeah. Have maintaining the vertical surface- Yeah, on the, that, that's the right. The marble that, frame. Yes, that's right. And, we, yeah, go ahead. And then, Okay, so at this point, I need to ask if there a second for Catherine's motion, which are a little blurry, but uh, <laughs> right for those suggestions, and then also adding the suggestion that um, she back. return. Yeah, so, Deb, come back. So I, I see Lindsay's hand and Pat's hand, but I'm looking for a second at this point. Uh, I would second with all the suggestions that Erica outlined. But I would like to see Miss Noyes return with her her what she believes to be her final design. Yeah. Okay, right. I think I believe that Catherine added that to the motion. So. Okay, so then I would second that. Okay. So any discussion on the on the motion, Lindsay? I, I would say that if if possible, just to prevent delay and Miss Noyes being able to move forward with opening her business that. Perhaps we consider what we've done in the past, where if you're able to provide a revised rendering to us, that we could review it that way through email. If if other board members thought that that would be sufficient, I I would be comfortable with that. Probably, I I think that the problem with that, Lindsay, is that we don't have the opportunity to dialogue outside of this, like with the. Occasionally, somebody has to just submit something that we can kind of thumbs up or thumbs down because it's a minor change to the overall. Um, but we can't actually communicate, so we would either we would have to just kind of do it as a a yay or nay, and communicate as individuals with Rob. Um, that's a little harder if we want to like talk through options and things like that. So I guess the question uh, I wanted to ask, um, Deborah. so when do you intend on opening the business? Is the business yeah. currently open or are you planning for like later in the fall or what's your situation? No, it's open. Uh, it's We had a soft opening and the grand opening is on um, uh, Sunday and the ribbon cutting is on Friday. I couldn't, I couldn't wait any longer, I'm afraid. <laughs> it just wouldn't have worked out. So yeah. Um, yeah, so it's uh, so any anything we can do to expedite would be much appreciated because it has been a long process and I really honestly didn't want the awning in the first place. <laughs> so I feel like I'm accommodating the landlord and uh, and the block, obviously, because it's consistent with, you know, what's there. And I want to be you know respectful of that and consistent. But, um, you know, it's it's a big expense. So, you know, any and, and it's taking quite a while. So anything we can do to not because of the, you know, the current meeting, but just in general. So anything we can do to expedite would be really appreciated. I mean, one thing the board could do, Erica, is that um, you guys could always schedule a quick meeting on like an off Monday or something. And maybe in like next week or two or something, giving Deborah enough time to, to you know, redo her designs and just meet really quick and just decide if you like it. I mean, I only need like maybe three days advance notice before doing something like that, but that's that's pretty much it. 
I mean, it's up to you guys as a board, obviously, but I mean, that's an right. idea to consider. So you can at least do it in the public format because we still need public feedback and stuff like that. Right. Um, I think that's a happy middle ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You know, if you had the opportunity, I recognize that there's still a motion on the floor that we need to vote on. Um, but if you had the opportunity to go and speak with your um, awning manufacturer <laughs> and then um, submit a new uh, rendering, mm -hmm. then we could have a meeting as long as we can get a quorum, um, we can have a proper vote. That would be great. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I will do that as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Is there any? Um, I see that Gabrielle Gould's hand is up. We have. Um, I can make uh, opportunities for public comment, but not while well, a vote is. Oh, I would prefer to just have the vote and then hear, um, since there is a motion on the floor um, and Gabrielle is a member of the public. Um, I think that we should follow through on the vote first, which right. is to yeah. um, a number of, of suggestions for changes and then to ask um, Ms. Noyes to return to the DRB um, and we can try to turn around a, a, a meeting really quickly for you. Okay. Um, okay, so all of those in favor then of the motion, um, please uh, raise your hand, say aye. Aye. All right, great, aye. thank you. And again, just a quick reminder that Karen is is here tonight, but um, can't vote because she's yet to be sworn in. So um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. And Rob, could you um, invite uh, Ms. Gold to speak? Hey, all. Can you hear me? We can. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's kind of a moot point now that the vote's been cast, but one of the things that I just wanted to ask for consideration of is the really great ideas. And I think that Deborah, I just took a bunch of notes, um, is probably going to come back to you with exactly one of your ideas. And I, again, it's, she's open for business. That awful blue marble sign is so janky. Um, they won't, the landlord won't take it down until it's going to be replaced. We're at a huge lead time right now for a new awning because the companies are so backed up. And I was just kind of going to beg the you know, committee to consider that she would take all of the recommendations. You like the color scheme, you like the logo, you gave her great options. Could she please move forward knowing you know, that she would of course take into account and even like as I'm sketching things out here on a piece of paper, I'm like, oh, this would look really pretty and this would be really great and I could help her with this. Um, but the vote, the vote's already been cast. Um, but I think it's just, it is so rare that we get retail and, you know, I, people are like, what's going on in there? When's it going to open? And I know it's because she doesn't have the proper signage. And somebody then went and stole her sign that she had put out in front um, as a temporary measure, which is frustrating and heartbreaking because she spent some money on that as well. And um, so I was just going to beg everybody to say, look, we've given really great input. She's definitely going to take it and she's going to put up the sign that you're all going to love um, and let her sort of start to roll forward. But the vote's been made, so I can't ask for that now. <laughs> I think we'll we'll turn this around as, as quickly as we can. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you, Deb. We're excited. I'm excited to pop into your store. Yeah, oh, and excited. if you guys haven't been in, it's so amazing. I look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. So um, our next agenda item is um, Raquel Zeliandia for a new sign at 31 Boltwood Walk for a new restaurant. So I believe it's a awning sign. An awning sign. Okay. Yeah. Right. But um, yep. I'll promote the applicant to a panelist so she may speak. That sounds perfect. All right. Hi, can you hear me? We can. And greetings. Thank you for coming tonight. Hi. Hi. I'm Raquel. Um, and um so we're doing basically the same size as the previous tenant that was um, at the space. 
Um, there's, as you can tell, you're going to see, I don't know if you can see at the bottom, there's another, should be another file that shows the window. If you scroll down, Erica, you can, yep. uh, it's a two pager. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all we have to work with. I asked if we can do a logo and the awning company was like, not going to be possible. Um, we pick black because um, that's, we have two other locations and our awnings is like that. If you go to our interior, it's all black walls with mirrors inside. We're going to be like a Mexican restaurant, not the typical colorful yellow, red. Um, it's more kind of sleek inside. So that's why we pick black. Um, and we decided that white would be the best to stand out. Um, unfortunately, we can't do a logo on it, but we're hoping maybe to maybe put like a decal sticker on the window and people can see our logo there. Um, but this is what we could work best with. Um, also, I like to mention, um, I did not know I had to do a design board uh, meeting. And when I had like ordered it, we had, it's been ordered and printed. Um, and that's something that really does concern me because I was not aware that we had to go through this process. Um, so that's something I would like to like, just be honest with. Um, I did have to get like approval before my landlord um, and she was okay with it. Um, but yeah, fortunately, like that's, that's where I'm standing at, but um, yeah. So. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I, I just, um, so th it, at this time, what you're sharing with us is, is just this window awning. Yes. Additional signage for the windows and the doors, um, uh, anything yeah. over the door. I know the business that has recently um, vacated this space had a number of um, additional signs, like there was something hanging over the the primary door and and in the windows and things. So what I saw is that they drew on the window um, like little um, rice bowls, and they had like painted them themselves. I cleaned the windows. My goal is to have very good lighting so people can see inside the windows. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really want to put like a big sticker that covers the interior because it's going to be really hard enough for people to be like, I mean, it says taqueria, which means taco shop. I would hope the sign would help a little bit, uh, but I'm trying for the interior to be really like being seen from outside. Um, it has a lot of um, natural lighting, but at nighttime, I know I want to put like lighting so you'll be able to see interior from the outside inside very clearly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Hopefully in the door, we can put like obviously our logo there. Uh, but also I want to keep it clear because we have kind of like a table where people can like eat and look outside. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, maybe like when, if we're allowed to do like tables outside, we can put like a Mexican flag so people know it's like a Mexican restaurant. But um, we're going to do our best to like advertise um, and so people can know it's like a Mexican restaurant because I know the lettering doesn't really say it. And like, fortunately, we can't put a logo on it. But um, I wish we had, we could have put like a big like, where you can put the logo, but yeah, this is the best we could do. Okay. Well, I think we can, we'll talk about what you're proposing tonight, which is the sign over the awning. Yep. Um, and get you out of your way. But if you want to have additional signage at any point, at like in on the, the doors, your hours, that logo, things like that, then you would uh, come back yep. for a second round. Um, okay. I'd love to open the floor. And I see that uh, Lindsay's hand is up for comments or questions. Hi, um, I like the idea of having the just the really clean black and white. I think the lettering is really fun. And um, my only question is if the image we're looking at, is that the actual sign or is that a Photoshop? Oh, that's the Photoshop. Um, we were not like, uh, luckily, just right before we put it up, um, I was in, in talk with somebody from Amherst and they're like, oh, you're not allowed to put it up unless you get a permit. And you have to go through the design board. That's when I found out. Okay. Um, so so yeah. I, nothing has been up. It's just been taken down the awning. Um, and the awning, like I know the awning company is going to have to ask for a permit. I was only asking um, because of the slight white border around the text. Is that, and that's probably just a Photoshop thing. So yeah. no white border. Yeah. There's not going to be a wide border. It's just going to be the white lettering with the black awning. Yeah, that was my only question. I think it, I'm, I, I'm, I think it looks great. Thank you. Yeah. 
Karen, Pat, or Catherine? Yeah, let me see here. Um, yeah, I accept the sign. It's sort of interesting that it's not you know, the the, Mex the traditional Mexican look, but this is really more for Rob as to how in the process can this kind of thing be avoided that a person goes ahead and spends a lot of money on a sign not knowing that they should come to the design review board. Uh, so, so, usually, so usually when people apply for any sort of building permit, um, we determine where it's located and that kind of helps us start the process of helping them do the design review process. So basically, because this building is within the DRB district, um, the downtown area, basically, um, that's when we find out that this project's happening and that it has to come to us. Unfortunately, it's hard for us to prevent people from, you know, pursuing things beforehand. Um, and it's it's a good design. I mean, so it, it's not an issue that was ordered beforehand, but it's just, you know, it's really hard, Catherine, to kind of catch people before they do that sort of thing. Um, and usually, you know, it always starts with like reaching out to the building department and asking for, you know, am I allowed to do this? Do I need a permit? And and starting from there. So that's that's pretty much what um Raquel did as well with us. Like she called and we guided her in that direction. Although I know our regulations in Amherst are a little bit more strict with signs and awnings, especially in downtown. So um, usually people who live around in the area know that already and just just call the town anyways. But it's it's hard to to catch people before Anne Catherine. That's that's the point I'm trying to make. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that perspective. Are there any other comments? Um, I'll say for my part, I love it. I think it looks great, especially without that white border. Um, or should I, we? I, uh, I agree with that, Eric. I don't have my hand up, but I think it's a good looking sign. And um, I I don't have an issue with it. I'm just sorry that Raquel has to go around in circles a little bit to get all this organized, but um, I think it's a good looking sign. There seem to be no suggestions. So if I could um, ask for any last comments or a motion to approve as presented. I move that we approve this sign as presented. Thank you, Catherine. May I have a second, Lindsay? I second. Uh, is there any conversation discussion? Fantastic. All those in favor then of the sign uh, for Tecoria del Pueblo? Please raise your hand, say aye. 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 That looks like unanimous. Thank you very much. Appreciate and it. Thank you so much. Before you leave, uh, Raquel, yeah. I just want to say that um, I'm going to reach out to Jennifer tomorrow. Yep. And get okay. that process of you moving forward with your permit so you can put up the awnings when they arrive. Perfect. And then I'll just have the awning company um, apply for the permit because I was mm -hmm. like, I want to get this approved before you guys can go apply. But that sounds good. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, all right. Our next uh, item six or proposal six, application six is uh, from Julie Nolan, Jewelry and Gifts. Is there a representative here for... That application? I do see Julie Nolan in attendance. I will promote them to panelists so they can speak on behalf of their um, application. They just have to accept the invitation. Hi. I muted, my dog was barking. <laughs> Greetings, welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I see there are two people on your screen. Perhaps you'd like to introduce yourselves if you're both speaking. Um, sure. And then would you like me to do this screen share on your behalf or would you like to do that for yourselves? Um, well, my name's Julie Nolan. This is my husband, Pete Nolan. Hello. He's um, sort of helps me out with business type things like this. Um, and then as far as the screen, um, what, what they can share it. You, you can share it.
So the, I'll just very briefly walk you through the things that I have, and then you can instruct me to move the screen around on your behalf. I have um, the, the, the items you submitted. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's it, these three. Yeah, so um, I think I'll do most of the talking. So um, if you wanna start with this first um, image, the hanging sign description, I can um, talk to you about that. Um, so it will basically um, have my name, Julie Nolan Jewelry, and the logo, uh, the logo itself will be gold leafed and the sign maker, she um, will be doing this all by hand and she uses um, 23, uh, 23 karat gold leafing. Um, the panel itself will be black. And then she wanted to do like a little bit of a brass detailing, which sort of mirrors the O in my name, Nolan, which is part of my logo. Um, and then she plans on using the existing bracket that's out there right now. To, uh, I'd like to eventually change that bracket, but um, you know, everything is like, costs a lot of money. So I have to use what's already there. Um, and the square footage, she's suggesting it being two square feet. She said that, you know, it should be visible. It should be visible on both sides. Um, the sign will be good for people who are uh, walking by and um, they'll be able to see um, that I'm a jewelry store also carrying gifts. Mm -hmm. And you want to talk about the logo? And then I can, <laughs> sorry, I just make jewelry. So I don't do a lot of meeting talking. <laughs> and then on the um, the largest window, the window that um, is on the sidewalk, 40 Main Street, that will also be um, a hand painted sign where she is using um, the 23 karat gold leafing. And then she's suggesting doing just like a thin black enamel hand painted um, sort of just, I guess, to add some dimension, but also to make it so that the sign is noticeable to people walking by and people also in their cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the sign on the smaller window, um, I did tell her that I didn't want to do all of the, um, like the O's on that window. I thought that it looked too busy, but I liked that she wrote local makers, that I am selling fine, and I also do permanent jewelry, and that I have a selection of curated gifts. So there will be uh, 23 karat gold leafing on that small window with maybe just some very little tiny uh, gold leaf decorative elements, but it'll be very clean and there will not be, um, there won't be any of the O's. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. Yeah. And then um, there's one other piece of the submittal that just has some uh, dimensions, seven inches by 37 inches. And that's referring to the, your, the text, the gold leaf text on the primary window. Yes. And there is a typo on her, on her behalf. It says 37 feet, but it should say 37 inches. It's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Um, and Jess, um, she does a lot of signs locally um, and her work is really beautiful. And I think the gold leafing will just be a really beautiful sign to have in Amherst. I don't, I haven't seen too many um, gold leafing uh, signages in Amherst. So I think it'll be really special. Okay. Thank you for walking us through. Uh, okay. Your, your, that's, I think we, we have some great information and there could be some additional questions that, that come up in the process of conversation. So I'd like to um, open this up to members of the DRB for some comments and questions. I see Lindsay. Okay. So I think this is stunning. 
and I'm super excited about it coming to Amherst. Um, the graphic, the, the logo and the gold plating, I think just sound, it, it looks beautiful. I think it's very elegant, stands out nicely without being overly busy or complicated. I love the idea of playing with the O to create that kind of like um, pendant. It almost feels like a reference to the moon. All of it's just beautiful. Um, and I love the simplicity of it. Um, it's a little hard for us to, so I would approve everything except that it's a little hard for us to know how to approve it if we don't know what the final design is on that smaller window. Um, um, so perhaps, yeah. Sorry to cut you off. So right now, really, <laughs> what I just have the budget for is the the main window and um, the the sign that's hanging off of the brick. Mm -hmm. um, but I did want to include the smaller window because eventually I would like to add to that window, but I realized that I might have to come before the board. So um that's why it's there um yeah that's helpful thank you I mean I think that um if we if we were to move forward assuming that that smaller window is not something that we're deciding upon in this meeting and that if you were to add something there that you would come back um then I I would say given everything that I'm seeing I'm in favor of of approving it as is thank you Thank you. Uh, yeah, can I can't can I put <laughs> put my hand up and say something? I know I'm so sorry. I I okay. I, I was muted. I didn't mean to. I see Pat's hand first, and then Catherine. Okay. All right. Um, I think it's very sophisticated look, and it's simple, but but um, elegant, as Lindsay said, and I I would welcome approving it. Um, I agree that whatever you do on the small side window, you would have to come back to us. But it sounds like you're going to ponder that for a while and gather some funds before you make a final decision. So what what we would be looking at is the hanging sign and the front window. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think it's it's beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, Catherine. Right. Uh, well, Lindsay took the word out of my mouth when she said stunning. It's stunning. I can't believe Amherst has something this beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> it is so elegant and refreshing and classy and um, everything we would love to have in Amherst. And uh, uh, I'm just grateful that you're you're taking this step to add this to the downtown. So, uh, and uh, one question, do you have anything on the front door? Uh, did you mention your front door, anything? Um, no, I don't have anything right now. I just put a vinyl, a temporary vinyl logo. It's just black and it just has my name. The front door of 40 Main Street, we share with- That's our right, you, yeah. Intimates. Yeah, that's right, you do. Uh -huh. And there's nothing on there. Yeah, okay. And hopefully, eventually, I can convince Suzanne to do some gold leafing on the top windows that we share. Mm -hmm. That that will be later. <laughs> sure, okay. All a good time. Okay. Um, Karen, did you want to share any thoughts on this one? Or... Nope. No. Uh, can you hear me? Am I yes. now? Yeah, I, it's it's so interesting to see this whole process, and I agree. What a beautiful sign and what a beautiful addition to Amherst. I just since it's gold leaf, just pardon me for asking this, but you're not worried at all about vandalism. Um, it'll be on the inside. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, there seems to be. Oh, Pat, is it a legacy hand oh, or it's you... a legacy? Forgive me. Sure. Um, there seems to be um, widespread appreciation for the level of design that you're bringing to this, um, to your business. Thank you. Um, and so barring no suggestions for changes, um, could I ask for a, a motion to approve 
um, the design for the mm -hmm. hanging sign and the primary window with the understanding that you'll return to the DRB um, for the smaller uh, side window um, sometime in the future. I approve, I move that we approve the petition as presented. And a second? I second. Great. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 And that's unanimous. Thank you very much. And good Thank luck. Thank you. Thank you. Come in, come in and see the shop. Yeah, we've got some shopping and some eating to do on our, our three new businesses tonight. It's very exciting. And just a heads up. Um, just you. a heads up. I will notify uh, Jennifer Mullins tomorrow about um, this approval. And you guys can go ahead and move forward with your permitting once I let her know. Okay. And now I can I can book my date with the sign maker. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I'm super excited. Okay, fantastic. Um, so uh, public comment was originally on the agenda for uh, this point. And I just, because we moved it up, um, I, I wanna make sure that folks who may have joined a little bit late have an opportunity to share a thought if they have one. Um, if not, we'll move on to uh, meeting minutes. So I um I believe Gabrielle Gould left the meeting and I did um change Julie's role back to attendee, but I don't see anybody else. We only have one person in attendance and uh it's a person who already spoke. So yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Um so the next uh agenda item then is um approval of meeting minutes from August twenty-eighth when we talked about the Jones Library. So um, shall I share my screen? And I, I'm hopeful that everyone had an opportunity to review these minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you did not, and you would like me to do a slow scroll, or if we can just go move ahead with the, with the approval. Sorry, this is the wrong thing supposed to be meeting minutes. Where'd those go? There we go. Does anybody need me to be scrolling these? I didn't hear any comments. Did we actually see if any of our recommendations were adopted or is it too early in the planning process? I suppose the historical uh, review was yeah, approved. It's, it's too early in the planning process for any it, of us. To know happened. whether they picked up on this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So and usually the planning board also get a copy of these recommendations too. Um, and they, they usually incorporate them into to their conditions um and they'll review them once submissions are given to them because usually after this people tend to redo their submissions and then give that to the planning board So as you've had enough time, when you've had enough time to to review these, I just entertain a, a motion to approve or amend and we can move on from there. I move to approve the minutes from what meeting is this? Uh, what's the date? August 28th. <laughs> August 28th. I second. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Unanimous. Fantastic. All right. Um, 
I'm really impressed by, by how succinct you're able to be, Rob. I really struggle with that, so I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. And I try to keep them brief and short so you guys don't have to take a lot of time every day to read them, but um, happy to help. Appreciate that. Um, okay, moving on to other business. Um, I was, I'd like Rob to report out, we had uh, suggested, as you may remember, um, mm -hmm. to DP Doe to basically keep the same sign, but to change the background color to black to better fit in with the rest of the, the building in the black ironwork and other black background signs. Rob sent us the suggested design change as individually by email and we all, I think, got back to him. So eager to hear a real update from Rob. Sure, so basically um, I emailed you all one at a time um, and the applicant gave us a list of four, it was either three or four different types of sign renderings that he changed up. It was the same um, logo and lettering, but he played around with the colors. So uh, I think the first one was like an all white, like this is how it normally looks type of sign. Then he had like a second one that was like a light tan. And then he had one that was gray. Um, scratch that. There was no tan. It was white, gray. And then he had two black signs. And the one rendering was like an all black um logo is the same color the lettering was white and then the bottom one was all black but they had little boxes around each of the logos and oh, so each if you want me to show would that be helpful yeah sure that? yeah if you want to show it just so um i'm not really good at describing it by word um a lot to describe appreciate it and you should be able to share your screen lindsay i think everybody has that capability Perfect. So it seems the group was pretty unanimous with that third option down because of the way the logo looks when it's all black. I mean, I could see why he kind of did the the box on that first one around the logo just to, I guess, kind of keep with, with the white background look. But I, the group definitely felt that the all black was just the better way to go. And it, it really mimics the white lion brewing sign pretty well with that same source style. Um, all black with the blue and the white that comes out. So we we instructed and pending that feedback from the board and because of their time crunch, um, I, I instructed the applicant that was the preferred sign from individual members of the board. And they have decided to move forward with that. So DP Doe did like that style as well when Mr. Salvini presented to them. And they have since moved forward with their building permit to, to put the sign in. Okay. So um, it's going to match that um, black framing behind it pretty well. I believe the slot that they're going to put the sign in is already black. Yeah. So it's it's not going to be any um, different from the surrounding color scheme. Um, so that's that's pretty much all I had to report, Erica. I mean, it, was, it wasn't a whole lot. This, this happened maybe the day after the, the last meeting, and it was pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, knowing the timeline crunch and how important it is to be open, you know, we're trying to make this make this work for our folks in town. So thank you for reporting back on that. It's great. Of I think we made a good choice. Yeah, I think so too. This is just a little aside, but DP Doe has been here before. Uh, it's not, but I, the more I thought about it, I said, this is not a new venture. Where were they behind uh, CVS? Where were they? Anybody remember? I know that you're right. I, I heard some people talking about it and that does that is the location that popped in my mind. Yeah, that's what popped I in my mind. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just that was so familiar when he when he first came, like this was like a new thing to be in Amherst. And I think, no, they've been here before. Not <laughs> the, not not a bad thing. It's just that they uh it's uh didn't the ground. Yeah. Now in a new high vis location. So right, that's right. Yeah. Well, I um I used to be a student at the University of Delaware back in like 2017, 2016, and they used to have a DP Doe on the main street. 
-hmm. and people were there until 3 a.m. because the bars closed, then you would go to DP Doe afterward. Oh, yeah. Because okay. they're open till 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. But then I, I said, yeah. I went back there recently and it was gone. So oh. I feel like your places come and go. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Rotating through. <laughs> Well, thanks all for your participation tonight. Barring any other uh, business, uh, we could have a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. <laughs> Lindsay seconds. Okay. Good night, everybody. And welcome, yeah. Karen. We're really happy to have you. And of Thank course, Pat just joined in the last meeting. She joined for the big one. Um, glad to have a full contingent now. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you, Erica and Rob. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night, Thank everybody. You. Good night. All right. Take care, all.